first thing is to really understand your personal risk and broadly the older you are the higher your risk of cancer in in general terms if you're a smoker um, if you're overweight if you've got a strong family history of some cancers that may increase your risk of cancer but often not always and if you drink more than the recommended guidelines these are all things that could increase your risk of cancer so the first thing i say is know your own risks and then know your own body people uh, are aware of their bodies and knowing when there's a change and that's unusual for you but importantly persistent changes so if we were to talk about bowels for example many people's bowels change all the time it depends on what they've eaten uh, how stressed they are how much exercise they've had how much water they've drunk as gps what we're interested in is a persistent change in normal for you and broadly that applies to most cancers and probably the most worrying symptom that worries all of us as gps if someone has persistent unexplained weight loss is one of those things that should not be happening and definitely needs to be checked out. Then there's the skin lesions that aren't, aren't healing or uh, unexpected lumps or bumps or growths and particularly if they're growing over a short period of time. Things that grow over a short period of time, uh, it's really important to get those checked out. So I think there's the six ways that I would say that we could tackle this. So the, the most important is to stop smoking. Um, that is the most preventable cause of cancer for, for all types of cancer um, is implicated in 70% of lung cancers. So definitely that, that would be my number one. Um, number two, try and reduce the amount of alcohol that you drink. Uh, we know that that is implicated in a lot of cancers too. Try and maintain a healthy weight. Weight is implicated in endometrial cancer, um, but also breast cancer and, and bowel cancer as well. Try and have a healthy diet. Try not to stay in the sun too long. Um, that will increase our risk of skin cancer. And, you know, move. Move as much as you can. So exercise. We, we talk about the importance of exercise, um, not just to prevent cancers, but also to reduce our risk of heart disease as well. Um, there's so many benefits to that. So ensuring that we do get out every day um, and get some resistance exercise as well and, and just, yeah, keep moving. There's no specific evidence to say that we should avoid certain foods or have more of certain foods at the moment in, in, in a particular type of food. And, and we'd worry, you know, maybe that people would become deficient in certain nutrients if they did avoid food groups. But having a healthy diet, lots of fruit and vegetables, high fibre, trying to avoid some processed foods because we do know that that is linked to bowel cancer um, and red meat as well. So keeping that to a minimum but making sure we get lots of those good proteins. So um, our white meat, our chicken, our fish, and you know, our pulses and, and that sort of thing is, is a lot better for us. So we do say for men and women to try and um, have less than 14 units of alcohol a week. It doesn't matter what type of alcohol it is with regards to your cancer risk. And it also doesn't matter whether that's spread out or whether it's sort of binge drinking as such when we're looking at cancer risk, I mean, it's obviously different in other circumstances, but from that cancer risk point of view, it's just staying below that 14 units a week. <laughs>